I know what you're thinking, but this is not the thing Chewie and Han destroyed on Hoth. This is the Ziri Bird 8 multi-outlet drip emission device. You can use it with a retrofit kit to convert a pop-up head to a drip system, or you can install it on an existing shrub stick. Adrian Sanchez here for Sprinkler Warehouse. Let's get started. So this is the way a Ziri Bird 8 arrives. You're also going to need some uh, micro tubing, some Rainbird Ziri Bug emitters or PC emitters, and an available half inch riser or pop-up retrofit kit to attach this thing to. The Ziri Bird operates anywhere from 15 to 50 PSI. Rainbird makes a pressure regulator that's built like a riser that regulates your water pressure to 30 PSI. So it's a good idea to use one to keep everything running smoothly. Now. Here's where you screw in the nipple riser or pressure regulator. You attach micro tubing here to uh, all these little barbs sticking out. Let's look inside. Here's your mesh filter. And these are removable plugs, so you don't have to use all eight ports if you don't need them. The idea is that you insert Rainbird Ziri Bugs or PC emitters to fill in the little holes. This allows you to completely customize the flow rate for each port anywhere from half a gallon per hour to 24 gallons per hour. So let's throw some in there. Here's a black one gallon per hour Ziri bug. The pointy end goes up. Boom, right there. Now, I'll remove one of these plugs. And let's put a red two gallon per hour emitter there. Pointy end up again. Perfect. Next, let's do a blue half gallon per hour. And let's put in a PC module, seven gallons per hour. Do keep these plugs somewhere in case in the future you wish to cap off one of your ports. Let me run some emitter tubing to each of the ports where I've installed an emitter. For the purposes of this illustration, I've cut the micro tubing fairly short. Okay. The tubing can be a little tough to wiggle on. If you're having difficulty, you can soften the micro tubing by dipping it in some warm water. Now we've got the micro tubing in place, if I screw the Ziri Bird on at this point, I'm gonna tangle all of my micro tubing. Luckily, Rainbird is one step ahead of me. This bottom part pops right out and I can screw it right into place. And then I can put the rest of it together afterwards. And there's a couple of ways to put it together. What? I can put this bottom half on first and then screw the top half on like this. Or I can screw the two halves of the flying saucer together and then push it down on the riser and screw this little cap right back on. Now you can attach emitters to the end of your micro tubing, but keep in mind you've already restricted the flow back here in the Ziri Bird. So putting a four gallon emitter at the end of this micro tube that's being restricted by a one gallon an hour emitter would be superfluous. It is a good idea, however, to use one of these diffuser bug caps at the end of your micro tubing. It'll keep out the creepy crawlies and debris, and it also diffuses the drip at the end, helping to prevent the emitter from washing away soil at the roots of your plants. At the emission point of your micro tubing, do use one of these stakes to hold the tubing in place and point the water exactly where you want it to go. You can also use one of these T branches off the tubing. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything for your irrigation needs, so your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens are lush and beautiful. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really know their stuff and they will get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. For Sprinkler Warehouse, I'm Adrian Sanchez, your Sprinkler Warehouse Pro. Later, irrigator.